Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Aztec Vapo Chill Micro Ultra Low Noise Cooler System. Included in this package is a fan, a fan duct, fan push pins for mounting the fan on this duct, a power cable for this fan controller, as well as a screw for mounting the fan controller in the expansion slot, and this fan cable. This will get connected into the controller, then into the motherboard, then into the fan that you will be controlling. This is the CPU socket mounting mechanism. Now this will vary depending upon which model of this cooler you get. This one is specifically designed for mounting on the socket. 754, 939, and 940. So remember before purchasing this product to get the right one. But keep in mind it does fit every socket that's currently on the market. Also included of course is the cooler and the user's manual. This cooler is capable of removing 150 watts which means it will easily cool the fastest CPUs on the market. It's a revolutionary product that's based on the unique Vapo Chill Vapor Chamber technology. This technology utilizes an evaporation process the chamber which is located just above the six millimeter smooth copper base that as you can see comes with thermal compound already applied and is filled with refrigerant gas. It works by extracting heat from the CPU. The closed sealed fluid will evaporate and reach the top three copper pipes. This gaseous form will then be cooled by the many fins and fan turning it into a solid fluid form again whereas it will hit the bottom of the CPU cooler once more. The recirculation of this coolant is based on gravity and this circular process continues and keeps the CPU temperature cool. The cooler itself is a very light 278 grams but 355 grams with the included 92 millimeter fan. Its dimensions are 139 by 98 by 50 millimeters and should fit most cases. Also it can be mounted vertically or horizontally. The fan duct will not only direct cool air through the fins and around the pipes but also towards the capacitors and chips surrounding the CPU. Installation is quite easy. First of all take this fan duct and slip it over the cooler. Next attach the fan to the fan duct with the four fan push pins. Finally remove the plastic protective plate that's on the copper base. Next slip this mounting clip over, then connect this to the motherboard's CPU socket. Finally connect the fan either directly into the motherboard or to the included fan controller. Keep in mind that any 92mm fan can be installed on this product. If you want better performance you can easily install a faster but louder fan. Now have a listen to the included fan at maximum spin. This product performs really well. It's light, fits any socket, and installation is really easy. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until next time, take care.